Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new vlog. So how are we all doing? I hope you're doing okay and enjoying the day so far. Please excuse the absolute mess my hair is. It's very frizzy. I haven't put any sort of like conditioner spray or oil in it today. Um, I'm just kind of like letting it, yeah, just be normal. But my hair is so frizzy and oh god, I just... Oh, I just need a hair transplant to be honest with you. It's just fate recede. <clears throat> it's receding so so much and um, yeah, I just need I need a hair transplant like here. Here would be all right, wouldn't it? Oh, anyway, I'm really really looking forward to this weekend. It's currently Friday afternoon and it's Simon's birthday tomorrow. Um, so yeah, he's celebrating his birthday tomorrow, which uh, is just, uh, I mean, I was saying this in a previous vlog, but May is such an exciting month in general. Like, not obviously like we've got the wedding in a couple of weeks, less than a couple of weeks, but um, May is just always exciting because it's my birthday, it's our anniversary, which we celebrated yesterday. Well, celebrated, we went and got a, um, an ice cream and that is it. <laughs> but yeah, it's also so Simon's birthday and um, yeah it's just an exciting month and always the weather just is so so nice towards the end of the month anyway um but yeah we celebrated our anniversary like basically our kind of you know relationship boyfriend boyfriend kind of anniversary yesterday um and we've been together nine years like how crazy is that we have literally like gone through uni um like moved house and now well, we were supposed to get married two years ago and now we're only getting married in less than two weeks. I can't believe how quickly it's come around. But anyway, the plan of action for today is I've literally just got the oven on and I'm just having some lunch now, just a lunch break from work. Um, I'm working at home today, so yeah, I'm in my sort of like makeshift office and uh, I'll be finishing around half three, four o'clock. But I do need to go and wrap Simon's presents and write his card in this lunch break so i will do that with you and show you what i've got him but i also wanted to catch up with you guys because i actually had my stag do last weekend i didn't vlog any of it i did actually take some um disposal i did take a disposable camera with me um i just haven't got those photos developed yet but once i get them developed i will obviously show them um show them with you show them with yeah show them with you um but yeah i didn't vlog it i just wanted to kind of not worry about getting content or sort of worrying about that i'm not getting enough content and also um i didn't know what was happening at all for my stag do or like my sten do that's what we called it because it's like a mix of a stag and a hen do um but yeah i just didn't vlog it i just didn't really want to be putting out content where i'm like intoxicated uh on my youtube channel because i want my youtube videos to yeah be real and uh, like you know be fun but also just to be really cozy and nice and not kind of be like it's never it's never exciting is it when you're watching when you're sober when you're watching someone drunk like i just don't personally find that interesting so i wouldn't want to put that out there for you guys either but i really did have such a brilliant brilliant weekend and a heavy weekend as well i had to take a day off in the week just to recover like i pre-planned that day off but i just need like i'm so glad i took it off because oh my god i was so so tired when i came back on sunday and um, so the stag do was kind of like from friday to sunday and we went to liverpool for it so like we stayed two nights um got dressed up um went sort of like bowling did like a bottomless brunch bowling so they just served like continuous pizza and also like bottomless prosecco beer april spritz it was honestly so so yummy and oh and like i love bowling and i love food and drinks so that was just like amazing um so yeah we did that we also went out for a few bars um you know just kind of like chilling relaxing drinking and then we also went out in the evening for like a meal which then was like in a club so it kind of like it was like a meal upstairs and then after a while it turned into like this club if you get me so we kind of just stayed there and uh, yeah went clubbing as well which i haven't done for such a long time so yeah on sunday i was just like simon we need to order a papa john's because i am done and he actually he had his own stag do in manchester 
um, on the Saturday, like all day. So he was definitely feeling a little bit worse for wear as well. So yeah, definitely warranted at Papa John's on Sunday. And yeah, I've just been kind of like recovering from that. Um, and so glad that I'm kind of like, yeah, looking forward to a really nice chilled but exciting weekend because it is Simon's birthday and um, he has requested a movie and takeaway night on Saturday and um, so tomorrow night and um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of like transform the front living room to like a like a movie snug and um, so I'm going to get the fairy lights down bring all the cushions down and all the pillows and the duvet covers and um, and just make it really like like really nice and cozy and kind of like an American sort of you know den I think that would be really nice I did it a few years ago actually maybe like four years ago now um and yeah put fairy lights up on like in our old house and and like kind of kind of like got loads of sweet treats in and popcorn and ice cream and stuff so I'm gonna do that as well I do need to go to the shops later on this evening to get a few little bits for that but yeah I'll bring you along with us with that and sort of me setting up sort of like the front living room and putting all the fairy lights on so yeah that would be really nice and we're gonna order from this like vegan takeaway place near us and um, which we've never tried before but we've heard from our friends that it is really really good so we're gonna try that as well usually would get like a Papa John's um, but I think because we had one last weekend, it's, you know, a bit overkill really, isn't it? Um, so yeah, really looking forward to that. We're also going to Simon's mum's house in the morning, Saturday morning, for a little cooked breakfast. And then he's going out in sort of lunch time for lunch. Um, so yeah, that's when I can sort of like create this movie den in the front room. I am actually wearing a little bit of a... Um, CC cream kind of thing. So I went to Boots yesterday. Well, actually, yeah, I went to Boots yesterday, but I ordered it online to go into store because I knew I was going into town. Um, and I actually ordered a few like CC products, CC cream products. Um, and the one that I tried out today, which I'm actually really, really impressed with, is the number seven beautiful skin BB cream for normal to dry skin. And the coverage is kind of like light to medium. So it looks like that the drugs in <laughs> um but yeah i actually am really really impressed with it it's really light coverage and i've had a like a really bad sort of skin week probably two weeks of really bad skin and i'm not too sure if it's a certain product that i've tried out um or it's just i don't i'm not stressed for the wedding or anything like that so it can't be that but maybe it's just a combination of the seasons changing my hay fever has been really really flaring up and i really I, like i don't really suffer from hay fever but i really have a kind of you know it's attacked me this year already um so it might be a combination of that like i'm touching my face a little bit more because it's quite sensitive my nose is quite sensitive um but yeah so hopefully i can just kind of like keep that under control and um and you'd be quite you know spot free for the wedding but i really have been wanting to try out new bb creams cc creams just for the wedding because i do have my beloved garnier bb cream um, but yeah i just kind of want to test the waters out a little bit so i did pick up a few items but yeah really really happy with the number seven beautiful skin bb cream and um, really light coverage and kind of it doesn't sort of like cover the blemishes or the spots but it just kind of evens out the skin tone a little bit whilst also kind of keeping that natural skin look which is exactly what i want from a product um, but i also picked up the revolution xx skin glow tinted skin booster in the shade fever um so i'm hoping that is a good shade for me um i haven't tried this out yet but i will definitely let you guys know and keep you updated over on my instagram i'll probably do like separate reels of bb creams and stuff like that um i also picked up another revolution product which is their super dewy skin tint tinted moisturizer and i put that and i got that in the shade medium as well so usually i'd go for a light but i thought oh might need just a little bit of a darker coverage because the um the products that i purchased a couple weeks ago so the rose ink luminous tinted serum and also the selena gomez rare beauty tinted moisturizer they were just 
the shade like one shade too light um and i tried to go into store well i tried i thought this was a store in liverpool but there wasn't um so i do need to actually just see if i can exchange them just for the darker shade um but they kind of just yeah they kind of clung onto my pores a little bit so i i wasn't too impressed with them especially the price point so i'm still on the hunt for obviously you know my next holy grail bb cream um but yeah i picked up the super dewy skin tint tinted moisturizer from revolution and then i also picked up the number 17 this glow is everything cc cream so this um yeah it basically quite a affordable option i think it was less than 10 pound um and hopefully it just blends well and it does wonders to my uneven skin tone um and then finally i just picked up the Garnier Amber Solaire Anti Dark Spots and Anti Pollution Super UV. I um I haven't actually had or used this for quite some time now, probably like a year a year now. And um, so I'm really looking forward to introducing it back into my routine and um, yeah, just having a little bit of fun with some really good sunscreens. That is everything that I picked up. Okay. So yeah, that is everything that I picked up from um, boards. Um, but I will show you what I have purchased, Simon. For his birthday so i ended up getting simon a pair of nike trainers for going to the gym and going on the treadmill and stuff and um, because he has actually asked for a new pair of trainers and um, he is actually really quite difficult to buy for um especially like you know things that he would he really sort of like uses on a consistent basis um and he does go to the gym he, you know he kind of wears trainers a lot so i did want to pick up pick him up a new pair of nike trainers um so yeah they were in this box and I don't know if they sort of come in another box but I'm just going to leave this like this and just wrap it up in the box because I'm not too sure if it comes in a shoe box or anything like that. Um, but I also picked him up some, um, which is actually, I'm, I'm probably, it's probably going to be a present for from Ellie to Simon, but um, basically these are just, yeah, it's just a very sort of like small present that I wanted to get him. It's just some vitamin C supplements, I think they are. Um, and Simon just like, kind of struggles a lot with being tired all the time because he works a lot. Um, and yeah, I just kind of wanted to make him try this new um, supplement um, just to sort of give him a bit more energy and just feel a lot sort of energized and yeah better and then finally i also picked him up this book so the song of achilles i think it is um but it's uh, apparently it's great like greek mythology and he absolutely loves reading greek mythology but it's also about two guys who have fallen in love with each other um and then just in terms of cards of course i got one card from ellie as well so this one here it says um it's meant to stop you scratching not to be used as an amplifier <laughs> which is yeah sometimes that can definitely be ellie especially when um when she, you know she wants to let one out or something so i thought that card was very fitting and then also this card it would be from me so seriously you guys it's just a spider and it's a marvel card he absolutely loves um Scarlett Johansson um so yeah I just thought that was <laughs> that was quite good because that is definitely Simon all the time he's like the spider catcher in our house um and I'm one of these probably Captain America um so I thought that was a really good card because he just had, kind of likes Marvel as well can you see little miss Poking her head out there. Can you see her? Hey. <laughs> oh, honey bunny. You are. It's so cute. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Good girl. <laughs> Not impressed.
Hello everybody, so I'm just in the car so I do apologise about the angle um, and the fact that you can see right up my nostrils but I've just been to Tesco, the like huge Tesco supermarket that we have um, sort of about a 20 minute drive away from us and um, yeah I've just picked up like a few little bits for Simon's like movie night tomorrow night so I picked up loads of his favourite sweets, I picked up a giant cake um, I've also picked up some like breakfasty bits that his mum wanted to get um, for me to get for tomorrow morning and um, what else, what else, what did I also get? But it was a very successful shop actually and I got the bits that I wanted to get so what I think I'm going to do is kind of do like a, um, a sweet grazing board of like you know all the like the chocolate and the sweets like the pick and mix sweets um, I picked up some like haagen -Dazs mini ice cream pots as well that we can have and some like the mini bites of the crispy cremes, crispy creams um, so yeah I picked them up as well and yeah it was just quite a successful shop but I'm actually on the way home now it's been such bad weather but the sun is literally just coming out um, and I'm looking forward to a nice glass of wine or Prosecco um, tonight and we're just going to chill out I'm going to have a bit of a salad for dinner tonight because I just feel like I need a little bit of healthiness in my life I'm also like filming this on my new phone which I am um, I'm absolutely obsessed with so I actually made the jump over from iPhone to a Google phone so basically Android and you know what I'm actually really really impressed um, by by the quality of the phone how easy it was to like transfer everything over by the, the camera quality honestly it's probably even a little bit better than a Canon camera <laughs> and that's going that's saying something but I am interested to see sort of how long that camera quality lasts because with the iPhones I always felt like the camera quality always kind of just it just went downhill pretty much so yeah it'll be really interesting to see that but I am really really happy with just the phone in general like I just absolutely love it and I didn't think I would do I thought oh my god I might gonna I'm like gonna hate it especially like moving over to um yeah to Android from iPhone but I'm loving it I'm absolutely loving it I'm a total convert and I definitely see myself kind of moving over to more Google devices as well so when I get a new laptop it would most likely be Google and I want some Google wireless earphones and yeah we've got a google home at, at home <laughs> um but we don't usually really use it that much but i want to start kind of like using it a little bit more and kind of just being a google google convert so so when you're watching this vlog actually it will be the weekend before the wedding so we get married on a wednesday and then it's the queen's jubilee on the thursday the friday the Saturday and the Sunday um, so it's a bank four day bank holiday weekend which just wor it's worked out perfectly um, but yeah we're on a Wednesday because of half term and it's just a lot easier for a lot of our friends to yeah it's because you know they're all teachers so it's just yeah it's a lot easier to um, to have it in half term and it was just worked out so so well that you know we're getting married just before the bank holiday so if people don't work um, in school time so yeah it just it worked out best for us that it was in half term and also um, it just worked out even better that it's actually falling the day before a long long weekend um, so yeah when you're watching this it'll be the weekend or well basically it'll only be a couple, few days before the wedding and um, what I'm going to be doing is like filming the week before the wedding, so I'm doing a full weekly vlog, uh, uh, full weekly vlog of the whole, like the the last week for the run up to the wedding. So you know, doing a lot of preparation, um, probably crying, <laughs> but having a nervous breakdown. So yeah, you'll hopefully get to. Well, yeah, you know, not hopefully, you will get to see all of that in the next vlog, and then it will be. I mean, it'll be the wedding video that we've got our videographer to. Um, to capture the day for us which is just absolutely crazy so 
I just can't, I honestly can't believe it. I feel like when I started my vlogging channel, obviously I've had my skincare channel, but when I started my vlogging channel, I was like, you know, it was the, it was like the 2nd of January and I was like, oh, the wedding's like six months away and now I'm just like, what, what, what even, what's even happened to this year already? I just, oh, I just don't know. So we've decided we are going to go with Paul Succo tonight. Um, just because I'm not really feeling a rosé tonight. I think I'm going to save my Whispering Angel rosé for um, for the next weekend. I think the weekend before the wedding. But yeah, we're going to have a bottle of rosé. And I think Simon might even have some gin and tonics later as well. Can't get too hungover for tomorrow though. What's that? For his hand. Uh, Do you want the posh bottle? Yeah. Can try it. It's been in there for a while, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the LSA ones. Special occasion, it's your birthday. Tomorrow. Happy birthday. Oh no, you can't have any poor Secco though. You didn't like it last time. I mean, not real Prosecco, poor Secco. <laughs> you didn't like it last time, did you? You weren't too fussed about it. You're a good girl. Are you excited for Daddy's birthday tomorrow? Are you excited for Daddy's birthday? Are you? Are you? Noosh, nooty snoot. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So Simon is just upstairs in the shower, so I thought I would get his presents and cards on display. And um, yeah, we've got the birthday presents there, we've got a few cards and also the birthday cake. I bought this top hat from Tesco last night and I'm obsessed with it, it's so cute. Um, yeah, it's just a standard chocolate cake, but really looking forward to celebrating with Simon today. And uh, yeah, we're going to be heading to his mum's very, very soon actually. Um, there is some little bits of food there to take round. 
around. I've got some like vegetarian sausages and like bacon for them lot um, in the fridge that I need to take that, take over. But yeah, we're going to go to his mum's and um, and have a nice nice breakfast. Happy birthday to you. Uh, you can come in. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Simon. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip, hooray! Yay! 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 Yay. <laughs> what any <a> belly? <laughs> she signed the card. <laughs> Did you put the pen in? Yeah. Need it. I did. Moved it with like that. Well, that's not better. Oh, very good. Have you read it? No. Have you not? No. It's on my list. Is it? Yeah. See, we're so in tune because I didn't even know that was on your list. But no, it's about too too many falling off. Yeah, but it's like I think it's because it's like. Group pathology. Did you go and get it yourself with your pocket money? Yes, she bought it on Amazon Prime with her Prime account. Oh, it's locked. Oh, very nice. Very nice. You should come. Good afternoon, everybody. So it's a few hours later. Well, actually, it's a lot many hours later and um, we went round to Simon's mum's house and I cooked a lovely breakfast and um, and then yeah we just spent like a good few hours there and um, his friend came over and yeah we just sort of you know just chilled out for a little bit and then I came back and I edited my video that went up last week so I really do hope you've enjoyed that but I am needing to get ready this room ready anyway um and just kind of yeah make it cozy and den like and and yeah so yeah I'll do it like a little time lapse and um yeah and just make it really really cozy and then I think we're gonna order some food after I've like set it all up and then yeah and then we can get the night started So nearly all set up kind of like our cozy little den area and this is the food like well basically the sweets that I have picked up um, and just like you know some of Simon's well most of actually all of Simon's favorite favorite things um, and of course his favorite popcorn as well um, I do have this popcorn sort of like thing that I got quite a few years ago now from Home Bargains I think it was but I didn't actually have the time to go to Home Bargains um, so I'm just going to fill as much as I can with Simon's popcorn in there so he can have that which will be really nice and then I'll probably just eat mine out of the bag um, but we do have strawberry laces, we have galaxy minstrels, um, milky bar buttons, we also have candy kittens, the wild strawberry flavour, we have um, crazy sour skittles and also drumstick squashes and then we have these insane crispy creme donut like bite things um, and the original glaze I love these and um, yeah I mean if Sam doesn't want them I'll definitely have them all <laughs> um, but yeah we've got lots of sweets and I'm just going to probably like put it all nicely out on sort of like our side table um, 
yeah, just like kind of like a little bit of a grazing sweet board-ish kind of thing. Yeah, you are in as well, an awful lot of that jelly belly. So you've got strawberry laces, you've got um, squashums, drumstick squashums, you've got milky bar buttons, galaxy drum straws, skittles sours, down bars. You've got Those skittles sours. Yeah, you've got Hagen Dazs um, gelato. You've got a uh, crisp crown <laughs> and popcorn, and that's your um, top of popcorn there. And then we can order food. Yeah. Have you had a look? Uh, I have not. Ish. Are you ready for a cozy night in? Are you ready for a cozy night in? Yeah. So I thought we could have our our takeout there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we can you can pass me a, some sweets. I'll get some bowls. I'll put those ice creams back in the freezer though, until after we've had food. Okay, but you need to look at this. So we've got our food here. It's like a vegan place near us and um, we've got like these huge burgers with corn on the carbs mm. and onion rings as well. I didn't know it came with onion rings. Oh, it looks so good. And uh, we've got fries mm -mm -mm. and also tater tots which I'm already getting my way through because they are so tasty. Tasty tarts. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Get me off around that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What does it taste like? It's nice. Like a chicken thing? Mm -hmm. Or like... Beef? No, it doesn't taste like anything. Like, it doesn't taste like... Anything like... I've got a bit around my mouth. You just have to try it, because it's like... Mm. Hard to explain. like quite smoky and like mm. barbecue-y. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It didn't taste like a burger though. No. Like a hamburger or anything. Mm. What is it called? Something hustle. Satan hustle. Satan hustle. Happy birthday! Mm -hmm. Cool! He's like, I haven't signed the divorce papers. He's like, I don't want a divorce, so I'm not going to sign it. I'm very sure now. What's going on with my Romantic evening for Ellie and Adam. I just want everybody to be happy, but don't put me in the middle. Hello, everybody. So it is a brand new day, and I do apologize that I um, look quite greasy and um, maybe a little bit red. I'm not too sure how it's showing up on camera. But basically, I had a shower this morning, and um, I used a face wash, a fa face, face, face wash. <laughs> um, that was like it's designed for like sensitive skin types because I um, yeah, I'm feeling kind of like a bit bit sensitive at the minute just because of using tretinoin. I'm kind of like peeling all around this area again. Um, so I used it, and then I must have reacted to it because my face started to go all red and blotchy and burn a little bit um anyway last night was so so lovely it was just really nice and cozy and um yeah and just really really great the food was absolutely delicious really really tasting kind of like um really reminded me of like a kfc kind of zinga tower burger because it had a hash brown in the like in the burger um and like there was like a tomato relish that kind of really did remind me of um yeah, KFC chicken burgers, but obviously it wasn't chicken. It was kind of like a, a vegan vegan sort of thing. And we did actually watch Uncharted, the movie, uh, with Tom Holland in it and Mark Wahlberg. But to be honest with you, when I was like, when I saw the advert, I'm pretty sure I saw 
The Rock in it. Well, maybe that's a different film. I don't know, but it was definitely something that The Rock could have been in. <laughs> uh, it's that type of film anyway. But yeah, it was really, really good. And then we watched the latest episode of Kardashians and kind of like went to bed around about half 11. It was quite a late one, but it was really lovely celebrating Simon's birthday yesterday. And hopefully he had a lovely day. Um, he's currently at his mum's house just seeing his niece. His niece was around uh, like round yesterday as well. So we did get to spend some, some time with her. But of course, um, he wants to see her again this morning and I am just in the car heading to well I'm about to head to my mum's for yeah a good few hours for pretty much the whole of the day pretty much and um, just sorting out wedding bits and because she's got like kind of like arts and crafts bits so she'd like can do vinyl lettering and um, heat press all of that good stuff um, and she's got a really good printer there so I'm going to go to hers and just kind of spend the day sorting out wedding bits um, that are, I just kind of want to get done this weekend because I don't want to leave it till like the weekend before the wedding which I'm just kind of like yeah I, I just it'll be too too stressful and I just don't want to be in that position so yeah I'm going to sort that out today um, and hopefully I'll be able to show you lots and lots of sort of like wedding bits well, I will be doing, I will be showing you lots and lots of wedding bits um, in the next vlog because by the time you're watching the next vlog, I will be married. Oh my God, that's so crazy to even, even come out of my mouth. Oh my God, I actually can't believe it. I can't believe that I just said that, that the next vlog that you see, the one after this, is I will be married. Ah, I just can't. And then I will, yeah, be showing the wedding video after that so um yeah I can't believe it I honestly can't believe it <laughs> yeah anyway I'm gonna head to my mum's now because I am actually running a little bit late than I said that I would hello everybody so it is a couple of days since I last spoken to you it is currently Tuesday and um I last spoke to you on Sunday when I was about to head to my mum's. It was actually a really, really productive day on Sunday. I got a lot done in regards to the wedding um, and I've still got so much more to do this week, um, but which I'm actually going to do tomorrow. But yeah, it was an incredibly productive day because my mum has got like all like the arts, arty crafty machine and equipment and stuff like that, um, which has really helped us in terms of like the wedding and having things for the wedding that we have been able to do ourselves instead of buy from another person or a company or something like that it's coming around so so quickly it is literally a week tomorrow until we get married oh my god <laughs> I honestly can't believe it it just feels so so surreal and I've spoken about this loads of times but you know when you've just been waiting for something for such a long time like four years is a long time to be engaged and um, I know obviously like people are engaged for for years and years and years and sometimes they don't even get married but um yeah especially when we we're supposed to have it two years ago and obviously granted you know everything was going on in the world and um you know we just couldn't have it and then when we were probably able to have it um it just wasn't the right time so uh, yeah it feels very surreal that it's actually finally happening and there's nothing to really stop it getting in the way there's no sort of other pandemic in the horizon or anything like that um i mean as long like unless unless aliens come down to earth and and zap us all out then that's probably the only thing that will stop this wedding happening or a great big thunderstorm which i'm really hoping that will happen and i'm really really looking forward to bringing you along um with me in terms of the last week of the wedding which is going to you know feature so much of the wedding stuff in in preparation for the wedding and um, which i'll actually be starting to film tomorrow so yeah i'll be picking up my vlogging camera again tomorrow and you know doing a weekly vlog but a very special weekly vlog because it will be the the week before the wedding which yeah very very exciting um but i have just got back from work and i actually finished a little bit earlier today just because i've, I've had like a headache brewing all day and being in the office and the lights i feel like they just kind of oh yeah they just give me a headache so i'm so currently sat in our front living room which um has the sun in the morning but it doesn't have the sun in the afternoon so it's really nice and cool and quite dark in here it doesn't look dark on camera but it is actually quite dark um and so i'm just going to probably have like a quick power nap or something put my weighted blanket on and just rest up for a little bit um and tonight we do need to go to um 
the shops just to get some sort of like storage containers for the venue and um, because they want each table in kind of like a, a box with the allocated place cards, the wedding favours um, and all the bits and bobs so it's a lot easier for them to sort of like dress it um, on the day. So I do need to go and do that and then sort of like in the week, in the next vlog, I will be doing, I'll be like filling them up, sorting them all out and stuff like that. But that's going to go ahead and conclude today's vlog. I really do hope you have enjoyed this vlog and celebrating Simon's birthday with us. Um, it was a really, really lovely weekend, a very nice chilled weekend as well. But yeah, Simon said he had a nice time so that's all that matters. But I really do hope you have enjoyed it and I will see you, uh, well I'm, I'll be speaking to you tomorrow, but I'll be seeing you next week for a very very exciting vlog. So yeah, catch you then and see you later. Bye bye.